Mas o que hoje é tido como realidade virtual nem começou a se aproximar dos mundos imaginários descritos pelos escritores de ficção científica. William Gibson, o inventor da palavra cyberespaço, previu um futuro em que os cérebros humanos estão ligados diretamente ao computador para criar um mundo de uma impensável complexidade e mistério. O tema foi aproveitado por outros escritores. Neil Stephenson chama sua versão de metaverse. Metaverse is a is a new interface uh, that looks like a world and basically follows the rules of three-dimensional space. There are buildings, there's streets, there's means of transportation. You can walk around, you see other people. You've got a body in the metaverse called an avatar, and so does the other person. So your avatars just go up to each other and talk. It's very simple. If you want to give somebody some information, you take a card out of your pocket. It looks like a business card. It's called a hyper card, and it, it is a metaphor for, it's a, a representation of a chunk of information. And your avatar hands it to the other person's avatar. That person's avatar takes it, and as they do, as that transfer is made, the information is moved from your computer into their computer. And so on. No mundo de Stephenson, não há fronteiras. É um contexto no qual nós juntamos a tecnologia com a paixão. Um lugar onde as formas mudam à vontade e a paisagem é uma alucinação alimentada diretamente por nossos cérebros. I'm sure that as time goes on and we understand more about how our minds work, and to me the mind is what the brain does, so it's really understanding what the brain does that's important, then we'll be able to uh, tinker with it. And I think humans ought to be very impatient to be able to clip gadgets into their head or wherever you want to put them uh, to increase our powers.